Moroccans and Tunisians are considered two of the most liberal nations in the Arab world. Moreover, millions have set base in Europe in the last decades. Therefore, it's been puzzling to many that most of the terrorists in the latest attacks in Europe are from the Maghreb. If you look at the south of these countries, the people are poor and sidelined. They feel ill-treated and not well educated. Therefore, they resort to violence and extremism. Police say most of the recent attacks in Barcelona, Paris and London were done by militants who actually live in Europe. Extremist centers and mosques attract those people. Also, if you notice, many of the terrorists have a criminal history. And in jail, they'd mix with imprisoned extremist sheikhs and scholars who brainwash them with jihadist thinking. After the crackdown on ISIL in Syria and Iraq, the group called on its sleeping cells in Europe to avenge what happened and attack people using knives and cars. So they might be living in Europe, but they are linked to Syria and Iraq. The defeat of ISIL in Iraq and Syria has also forced many of its members to return home and wreak havoc. Already the attacks in Tunisia are not such a distant memory. Terrorism has become a truly global crisis and experts say it can only be eradicated through international cooperation on all levels, military, intelligence, cultural and economic. Yes, Hakim, for CGTN, Cairo.